Hi everybody, welcome back to Taylor's Owned. Today I have for you a 23 minute full body workout. You don't need any equipment today, but I would recommend that you grab yourself a mat or something to protect your knees, wrists, back from the floor. If you've not hit subscribe, do that right now. Follow me on Instagram, I am at Taylor Toned. Also, this Sunday I have a 60 minute follow along full body workout on my website www.taylortone.com and that is at 9am ET. Pop in the discount code 50% off at the checkout and get the class for $4.99. Okay, I'm ready for the burn. Let's get straight into this. It's gonna be a good one. Let's go. Bring yourself up in towards a standing position. I want you to bring your toes forwards, bring your hands into a prayer position. Now roll the shoulders back and down. You're gonna lift your left leg first. And we go lift, lift, lift. Go up and up. Now you're gonna reach the arms up to the sky as you lift that leg, go up. Go reach, so sending your fingertips up towards the ceiling. We're just elevating that heart rate, warming up the body. I want you to grow the body nice and long. Bend through the knee, point through the toe. We've reached our arms to the sky. You've got seven, six here, you have five here. Let's do this, four, three, two, one. You're gonna bring yourself so you've got enough room to lunge out. Bring the hands to a prayer. We lunge down, lift, lunge down, lift up. So incline that upper body forwards and retain a toe up towards that knee. We go lunge, then lift. Option to throw the hands, prayer position. Throw the hands and prayer. Go throw, then prayer. So start to bend through that underneath knee. Make sure that knee is going over the top of your second toe. Incline the upper body forwards and lunge nice and low. Go three, lift. Two, lift. One, lift. Other side, let's go. Go drop, then up. Starting with those hands, just staying in a prayer position. Lunge in nice and deep into that leg. This other left leg stays nice and still. So through this whole workout with me today, you are thinking about everything elongated. Option to add the hands. Go throw, sweep, go throw. Try and find that millisecond of stillness when you get to the top of that prayer position, where you pull the abs in and you lengthen the crown of the head up. Lift, you've got three, if you know, go two, lift, one, lift. Well done, bringing it all the way. Now we're going arms down, sorry. You're gonna bring your hands out to the side. Shoot the fingertips to the sky. Tap, tap, lower. Tap, tap, lower. I want your feet directly underneath your hips here. Mini bend through the knees. Bring those fingertips. Tap them together for two. Send them out to the side. Now sometimes this feels a little bit funky on my fingers and my forearms when I take this flex position with my palms. Can't quite say what it feels like, but it doesn't feel good. So if that's you as well, maybe try bringing the fingertips, close them down, make a fist position. But my choreo today, it's like this, with a flex palm. You have five. You've got four more here. You've got three of them are gonna take a combination. Go two and down. One more, extend. Now we go in, side, go up and down. So I want you to draw your belly button in right now. So these classes, these bar pilates classes are all about improving your posture as well and your balance, as well as obviously toning, sculpting and burning. Tap, then side. So keep those shoulders blades rolled back as and down. Put my teeth back in. I hate it when I mess up my words. I'm like, Gabby, what are you even saying? Go in, go out, go up and down. Now option in, out, up, down. A little bit faster with that movement. Bring those hands together. We go in, out, up, down. In, out, lift, drop. Four more combinations like this. Three, then lift. You've got two. Then lift. Now last one, stay here forwards towards me. Little mind you bend through the elbows and you're gonna to start to draw circles with the hands. So I want you to imagine right now, I know maybe you're at home, you've got two cleaning cloths in your hand and you're cleaning the windows in your house, you're cleaning your mirrors in your house, you're sweeping around. Or have you ever seen that film Karate Kid? Wax on, wax off. <laughs> We're doing that right now. We go circle, circle, circle. Little miniature bend through the elbows, imagine my crown of the head 
is elevating up towards the sky, but you have a tiny bend through the knees to protect those knee joints. Circle and circle. Now you're gonna go the other way, around and around. You did one way, you've got a few streaks going on. So now you're gonna go the other way, circle those arms. Now find that hold at the end. Circle hold, circle hold, circle hold. You've got to go seven, six more. Then we've got stillness for five, for four. We hold in three, in two, in one. Now stay here, keep the palms up to the ceiling. You're gonna take a little miniature lift and lift. So from side on, you've got a tiny bend through the elbows. You're just lifting those fingertips up. Now try not to drop out of this. You might be burning already. Fantastic, I want that to happen. We're gonna sculpt your arms with zero equipment lift and lift, you've got six, you've got five more, here go four, we hold in three, in two, in one, now sweep to the side, turn your palms backwards, take a little tiny, you press, go push, and press, and press, so a little pinky, little finger is pointing up towards the ceiling, you are pressing as heavy as you can, you stay there, I'm gonna go side on so you can see, my fingertips are in alignment with my shoulders, my shoulders are rolled backwards and down, I'm creating as much distance as I can from my ears to my shoulders. I want you to do the same thing. We go push and for a sweep and backwards option here. Let's challenge your balance. Can you take a little relevate through the heels? Can you maybe bend deeper into those thighs? So you get a thigh burn out here as well as those arms that should be on fire by now. We go press. You've got 10 and nine. You have eight more here than down to your max. Seven, six down towards the floor. In four, in three, in two. One, Woo, well done. You're gonna lower yourself all the way down. Now you're gonna lift your hips up, bring the palms backwards, incline the upper body forwards. So in fact, let's all go side on. So you're gonna bring yourself into this position. You've got an incline forwards with the body, the abs are in, toes are in line with your knees, palms up to the sky. Now little tiny presses up with those palms. Now draw your eye line down and along your mat. So I'm about in the center of my mat today and my eye line is just to the edge of my mat in front of myself, in front of where I am. You know what I mean, sorry, it's burning and I'm like, where's my eye line? The eye line is to the edge of your mat, right at the front of it. Lift those palms, lift, you've got eight, seven, hold in six, in five, in four, we hold in three, in two. Now last one, you're gonna stay up there with the palms. Give your shoulders a roll further away from your ears. Shine your chest forwards. You're shining your heart forwards on that diagonal. You've got a ruler of the back of your body from your tailbone to the crown of the head. And you're gonna add a little tiny bend and lengthen through those arms. Bend, lengthen, and reach, and reach. So minute bend through the elbows and reach the fingertips nice and long. This is all about burning out the back of those arms into the shoulders as well. You've got a slight pitch forwards with the body. You've got seven. Six, you've got five, we hold in four, in three, we hold in two, in one. Now keep the arms there, we lower, we lift, we drop, we lift. Now don't straighten the hips all the way up, you're just going back into that side incline over. The arms are in an isometric hold, a static contraction. Don't let the arms drop down, I still want your arms burning. Just drop the hips, lift the hips, you've got five, then up. You've got four more. Press, you've got three, and lift. You've got two, lift. Now last one, come to that incline over. Those arms should be burning by now. Now send the hands whew, higher up towards the ceiling. Little tiny presses up with those arms, to lift. If your shoulders have started to creep up towards your ears, engage your lats, your rhomboids, those muscles in the back, and roll the shoulders down and away, toning your back, as well as working on sculpting your triceps and your shoulders. We go lift and lift, we go for a press, put something heavy away, don't let the neck drop down, cervical spine is elongated, top of the spine is long, eye line is pitched forward, as that burn starts to build, push harder through those palms, fight through this, you've got it, you have just 10, just nine, pulse those palms up for a final seven, you've got this, six and five, you're out in four, in three, in two, one, Ooh, well done, turn all the way around, reach your sit bones to your heels, bring your left hand across the chest, quick stretch here, roll the shoulder blade down, and then you're going to go ahead, shoot the other arm across the chest, bring that arm underneath, inhale, exhale, drop the hands down, give yourself a shoulder roll, in towards the forearm plank position, so bring the forearms down, tuck the toes under, and lift into a forearm plank, 
If you are A-OK -okay in this position, you don't need a modification, stay right here. Keep squeezing the belly button in. If you do want that modification right now, take a look at me. Don't drop out if you're in the advancement. Take a look at me. Modification, you've got the lower part of the thighs on the floor. You squeeze the heels in, but you've still got a straight line through the body. So advancement, the knees are lifted, the abs are pulling in. If you can feel this in the lumbar spine, try tipping your pubic bone into your belly button. Now we rock forwards, go back, we tap the left knee, we lift, we rock forwards, push back, go right knee, lift. If you're in the modification, just stay nice and still. Go lift, we go forwards, back, go tap and lift. We go forwards, push back, go tap, then lift. Now keep squeezing the abdominals in, go tap, Go lift, we go rock forwards, push back, one tap, one lift, three more, go forwards, back, we tap the knee, lift it up, stick with me, two more, push back, tap, lift, one more, go forwards, go back, go tap, now lift and hold. You're gonna rotate left fingertips to right elbow, you're gonna come straight into a side plank, reach the arm high. So here is your advancement. You've got the feet stacked, side of the foot is down towards the floor, fingertip reaching to the sky. If you want the modification of this, you've got the underneath leg bent, but you've got the top leg extended. Further modification, both the knees bend. We're gonna take a little lift, lift. So if you're in the advancement, I want you to make sure you've got both the feet stacked, you're pushing those hips up. If you want a halfway advancement, maybe go ahead, bring one foot into the front of the other. You've got just, let's go for seven, for six, center in five more lifts, go four, center in three, in two, in one. Now roll it back onto the forearms. You're gonna keep those knees lifted, forearm plank position. Touch your inner thighs together, draw your hip bones under. Activating through the upper body, through the core, Stay there, maybe close your eyes. You've got seven seconds of stillness, and then other side, you've got five and four. Other side in three, in two, in one. Right fingertips, left elbow. You're gonna roll around, reach the top hand up towards the ceiling, and a little tiny lift, lift. It's completely normal that one side of your body might be stronger than the other. If you want that modified version, remember underneath knee down towards the floor, come onto the side of the shin of the calf lift. Go lift, you've got six, center in five, in four, center in three, in two, in one. Now roll back to the center, on towards those forearms. Touch your inner thighs together, draw under through the, through the pubic bone, squeeze the belly button in, maybe close your eyes, go in towards your happy zone. You've got 10 seconds here, nine, go eight, you're out in seven, in six, drop those knees in five, in four, in three, in two, or one. Well done. Lower down in towards an all fours position. Little cat and cow, inhale, scoop, exhale, press. You're gonna sit back in towards your heels, bring your fingertips, give yourself a little roll here through the wrist. And then next up, we're gonna come in towards an X push-up position. So bring your hands round the side of your mat. You're gonna send your feet also round the side of your mat. Modified version of this, lower those knees to the floor. We go, big bend, big push, big bend, big press. So down to the floor and all the way up. The elbows, they fire behind yourself. So elbows go behind yourself. If you want that modified version, the knees are down to the floor to the edge of your mat, lift. Make sure you've got your knees on something comfortable. I don't want you damaging your knees, drop. Go press, you've got four, then we hold. You've got three, commit to the burn. You've got two, last one. Now hold down there. You're gonna find strength in your stillness for seven, four, six, let it shake, get lower. You've got five, four, child's pose in three, in two, one. Toes together, open knees, push backwards. Child's pose, inhale. Child's pose, exhale. Slowly roll yourself all the way up. We're gonna turn it round towards me. So I want you to bring your heels all the way to me, feet to me, hip distance apart. Draw the legs into your glutes, bring your fingertips and shoot them to me on your device. Fingertips to me. Now lift the hips away from the floor. You're gonna take a little bend through the elbows and just pulse, go pulse. So you stay there, I'm gonna come side on, pulse and pulse. So you're just taking little presses down towards the ground through the elbows. If you want the modified version of this, the hips are on the floor, 
but I want you to be working to the back of the arm. So this is the modified version. If you can get those hips off, pulse, go pulse and pulse. So you've got five, four, you've got three, whoo, two, one. Now extend up, open through the heart. We go, big bend, press, bend. Bend down, push up, bend down, then press. Five more, you've got four, and lift. You've got three, then press, you've got two, then lift. Now last one, bend through those elbows, and we pulse for seven, for six. We pulse for five, for four, for three, for two, one. Whew. Well done. You're gonna cross through the legs. You're gonna bring your left hand behind the head. Send the fingertips down the center of the back. Find a little stretch. And then from here, inhale, exhale. You're gonna go the other way. So now bring the arm down the back. Give yourself a little shoulder roll round. Sweep the feet behind yourself. Stay facing towards me. Hands underneath the shoulders. Knees underneath the hips. Tuck the toes under. Lift up in towards a box position. You stay there facing towards me. If you don't know what I'm doing, I've just got a little box position. Face round towards me, just listen to my voice. The crown of the head extends long. Straight line from the crown of the head down towards those hips. Keep the knees lifted. Draw the belly button up towards your spine. You could balance something on your back here and you have just six. So you've got five. Straight into your booty section, seat section in four, in three, in two, in one. Bring yourself round onto the left forearm. Bring the toes in line with your butt. Knees come forwards into a clamshell. Toes together, knees forwards. Toes in line with your butt. We open, we close. We open, we close. We lift, we drop. So I want you to double check right now. Have you got your heart shining forwards, forwards in front of yourself, either to me on your device or towards the wall in front of yourself? Shoulders are stacked. Your hips are also stacked. I see a lot of this going on. I want you to make sure your hip bones are facing towards me. This is all about your butt. This is all about the back of your legs. And your gluteus medius, your piriformis, your abductor muscles, which is a group of muscles that run down the side of the seat. We lift, we lower. The toes stay on the floor. You're actively pushing the thigh backwards. Now try not to let your hips move. Maybe go ahead, pop your hand on your hip. Don't let it move. And just open the thigh and close the thigh. Lift and drop. You've got five here. You've got four more here. You have three to stillness. You've got two to stillness. Now last one, you're gonna hold up there. The knee stays lifted. You're gonna go ahead, lift the toe in line with the knee. Still two 90 degree angles. We close, we open, we close, we lift. Inhale, exhale, keep going. We close, we lift. You've got five. You have four more to stillness. You've got three to stillness. You've got two to stillness. Now last one, you're gonna hold the leg up there. We deli slice in, we push your weight. We deli slice, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now we're gonna flex the foot away from yourself. As you do this, actively draw the underneath of your waist away from the ground. Keep pressing towards the forearm. Pull out of the shoulder girdle. So you're thinking about strengthening the upper body, toning the waistline by pushing into the forearm, lifting that waist away from the floor. And remember, be proud of your workout. Push, we go, inhale, exhale. You've got three, I know you can. You've got two, don't give in. Last one, now lengthen the heel away. Little lift, little pulse. Option to invert your toe to the floor. Option to reach this hand to the sky for that full advancement. Modification, keep the hand down. Can you pitch the toe down? Lift the heel, four, eight, seven, six. Other side of this clamshell, in five, in four, in three, two, one, Whew. well done, straight away, flipping it around to the other side, coming down onto the right forearm, toes in line with the butt, knees forward, we lift, we lower, then drop, we lift, we lower, the toes are staying pinned together as tight as possible, you've got super glue on your toes for the next couple of seconds, the hips are shining forward, the chest shines forward, Keep those two hip bones pointing towards me and just actively working into the back of your thigh. So I'm really thinking about your form here. 
pull the waist away from the floor to activate your obliques and the side body muscles. Drive the forearm into the ground, pull up and out of that shoulder girdle. Be proud of your workout. I always hate it when instructors say this, but I don't mean to smile. <laughs> we go, I hate it when instructors say that. I'm like, okay, you try doing this full class. See where you'll smile the whole time. You've got three and drop. You've got two and drop. Now last one, stay up there. Knee stays here. Toe comes in line with your knee. We close, we lift, we close, we open. Inhale, exhale. You can do this mind over matter. You literally have one minute, 20 seconds left to go before you're gonna, gonna come in towards your stretch. Lift, you've got five. Up, you've got four more. Press, you've got three to stillness. You've got two to stillness. Now last one, you're gonna hold up there. We deli slice in and then press away. Deli slice and push. Deli slice, press. If you want it really advanced, as much pressure as you can with your heel. So imagine I have my hand behind your foot, you're pushing me away. So squeeze the knee into the chest, press me away, go in and push. Now again, the more you invert that toe down towards the ground, the deeper the burnout is gonna be into the side of your butt. You've got six and press. You've got five more here, go push. You've got four more. You've got three until we change. You've got two to that pulse. Now last one, you're gonna hold out there. You can do this. You're gonna go ahead, invert your toe down towards the floor, draw the waist away from the ground, actively reach that hand all the way up, and we pulse, we pulse, we pulse. Lengthen through that knee, shine the toe down towards the ground. How badly do you want to challenge yourself today? You're out in seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Whew, well done. You're gonna roll yourself on towards your back today. Turn the palms all the way up towards the sky. Relax the body down, quick stretch to finish off. Send the soles of the feet down towards the ground, knees invert towards the sky, and let the body fall heavy. I want you to surrender your palms up towards the ceiling, close the eyes. Inhale in for three through the nose. So inhale through the nose. One, two, three. Exhale through the mouth. Three, two, one. Slowly windscreen wipe your knees. Left to right, left to right. Just gently rocking side to side, giving your torso, your spine even a little massage out. Just rock side to side. Draw the knees in towards the chest. You're gonna wrap your hands on top of your shins. Shine your pelvis towards the sky. And then from here, you're gonna rock back, catch the insteps of your feet in towards a happy baby position. So finding that yoga intention, draw your knees down towards the side of yourself, heels push up towards the sky, and just stay there. You should feel this through the hips, through the pelvis, through the back of the legs. And draw the knees into the chest. You're gonna gently roll yourself on towards your side, and then you're gonna gently roll yourself up in towards an all fours position. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, cat and cow. Inhale, scoop, eye line under. Exhale, press, lift the eye line. Back to the neutral spine. I want you to bring your toes together, open through the knees, push back in towards a child's pose. You're gonna walk your hands off to the left side of your body. Shine the right side of the body all the way forward so you get a lateral flexion, a side stretch. You should feel this into the side of the ribs, into the side body. Go ahead, walk the hands through the centre, send the hands off towards the right side, and then shine the other part of the body forward, side stretch, lateral flexion. Keep the eye line down, head down, inhale, exhale. And then from here, slowly lift yourself back up through the centre. You're gonna draw your inner thighs together so they touch. Bring the hands behind the back. Interlace the fingertips. Pectoral will stretch, lengthen through the arms. Press the chest forward, shine your heart forward. If you wanna go there, lift the fingertips up towards the sky and open through the heart. Inhale, exhale. If you want a deeper stretch, bow the chest forward and allow your belly button, your stomach to fall onto the thighs. Let the hands go above the head. and then slowly lift yourself all the way up, bring the hands forwards. Let's take a down dog. So from a box position, all fours position, tuck the toes under, drive the heels to the floor, lift the hips high, find yourself a down dog. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, push the heels down. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, push the heels down and hold. 
I want you to walk your hands all the way in towards your feet. Find yourself a fold over, let gravity take hold and let the body just fall down towards the floor. So you get hamstrings stretch. Your hamstrings are in the back of your legs at the top, underneath your butt, above the knees. Take a little soft and a deep bend through the knees. Drop the coccyx down to the floor. Slowly unravel and let your spine come all the way up in towards alignment and then facing towards me. Bring the hands together into a prayer. Roll the shoulders down. Find a deep breath in through the nose. Deep breath, exhale through the mouth. Pull your belly button in, roll the shoulders down. Bring your hands to your heart center. Find a soften and bend through the knees, close the eyes. Give yourself two seconds here to appreciate your workout. And well done. Well done everybody. Make sure you go ahead, smash that thumbs up button. Let me know how you found the workout. Leave me a comment down below and I will see you all on Sunday for a full body 60 minute workout. That workout is also completely equipment free. All you need is a soft surface or a mat. To join the class, head over to www.taylortoned.com. See you all very soon. Mwah.